Hello. I don't know if this is going. Hey, Jesse. I'm trying to figure out if I'm upside down or what, because this is annoying me. Hold on. Well, this is aggravating, but oh well. So I was trying to do this on my phone because it has a better video quality versus Yeah, I had to flip it this way versus horizontally, which sucks because I didn't want that. But oh well. Now you're going to be able to see my mess. Let me... Well, I tidied up a little bit. I tidied up a little bit. Let me see. Can I hear myself? Can you guys hear me? Okay. Okay, I can hear myself. I have my laptop in the front. Again, I'm going, I'm doing the live on my phone so i do apologize you guys and the rotation and all that fun jazz but thank you all so very much for joining me today i greatly appreciate each and every one of you so today i wanted to do um a little chit chat get ready with me try out some of the makeup that i've purchased over the last couple months that i still haven't been able to try um, I purposely, just so you know, I purposely left my brows un, um, not cleaned up basically because I wanted to show you guys um, how I use my clean canvas from Gerard's Cosmetics. Um, those that have been following me, you know that I use this for each and every look as my eyeshadow base and they just launched on the 15th three new shades so that's why i wanted to show you guys that oh thank you guys so much um i'm a jesse red hot and flashy and kate thank you guys so much for joining me me sorry i'm still messing with this again i was hopeful i was going to be able to go the was it horizontally? I know the little panda ears. I found them at Marshall's. I should have done a haul video. I went to Marshall's, got an outfit for each one of my family members, plus like a bunch of accessories for a hundred dollars. I'm like, I, I miss being able to shop in stores and finding good deals. Oh, thank you so much. I know I'm so close. Like, I'm so close like we'll get there very very soon hopefully and for those that happen to watch my stories and the message you know just so you're aware all those who join my live today because you know I don't know how long it'll be so everyone or anyone that joins my live today and of course is subscribed or you must like my video of course um, you will be entered to a giveaway. So I'm going to do a special giveaway for just those that join my live today. Um, once the live's over, I'll go through the feed and I'm going to enter you guys to a random generator and we'll pick a lucky winner that way. So Gerard had sent me my little package this way. I just was taking pictures, you know. Are you okay, buddy? My little guy. Allerg our allergies are horrible lately. Red Hot, we all start somewhere. I remember 
it took about six months for me because I wasn't comfortable with YouTube to get to my first hundred. So, um, and it took almost a full year to get to a thousand. So it takes time. There's some people that are very lucky and they go, you know, they get a lot of views and subscribers fast, but I had no direction. Oh, thank you. Welcome Envy and Queen of Hearts. Thank you guys for joining me. So, um, as I mentioned, Gerard Cosmetics just launched three new shades. They released the white shade, so I'm pretty stoked about that. I've always wanted to try a white base to do eyeshadow. So this will help, you know, make your colors pop even more. Um, and they, is this... Oh, this is cocoa. So for anyone with a medium or dark skin complexion, this guy right here is perfect for you. The other thing I've been doing the last few weeks, I don't usually show it in my video. I've been using the clean canvas as um, concealer on my under eyes. I'll apply just a little bit and then dab my regular concealer and that's been actually allowing my eyeshadow base for one to stick better and two it hasn't been creasing or anything like that hi binti um thank you so much for joining us and this is the fair shade so this is the new one i had been using medium so it's a little bit darker so i'm excited that they have fair this is a little bit more on the cool tone but that's not a problem. I can still definitely make this work for me. And of course the original medium shade. This is now my third one that I'm starting. And look, I'm already more than halfway through. So this stuff is awesome. Um, and of course I am affiliated to Gerard's Cosmetics. So um, I have code Perky Perkins 85, which gets you guys 30% off, or I do have a link in my description i'm not sure if it uploaded with this video so because i have it i'm going to start off today and using fair and i'm going to use it to clean up my brows as i mentioned this is not how i normally leave my brows my brows are usually a hot mess and then i use my clean canvas instead of concealer like sometimes i'll use concealer if i need something lighter but i tend to always use um clean canvas to clean up my brows and just so you guys are aware the base can be left dry and like like tacky, you know, wet, or you can set it and it's it actually helps cancel out like all the blue veining and all that fun stuff. So I love it. And hi Sylvia, thank you so much for joining. I'm like, I don't know if I missed you. But anyways. So my GC. And you only need a oh, let me put this down, kinda awkward. And you only need very little, like. Actually, I think I'm gonna need a smaller brush. I clean my brushes and now I don't remember the order I left them. Oh, well. I'll use this straight dough color brush and just take a little bit and I wiped off the excess. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for joining us. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, and do not forget, you guys, make sure you hit that like button. And if I'm looking down, just so you're aware, I have my laptop right in front. Again, I'm filming on my phone, um, which is why the angle is a little bit different. And um, I just, the video quality on the MacBooks is, I, I, I'm surprised it's, it's bad. So on this part, I usually um, am quiet because I can easily mess up my brows.
I already like the shade. It's almost my skin color, so I could definitely use it as concealer when needed. A little thin but it's okay and I'm gonna take my little sponge this is the new billion dollar beauty sponge it's actually pretty nice it's bouncy but still a little firm much much easier to clean up your brows I'm so excited that they got the fair hi thank you so much um I'm gonna butcher her name Celia is that how you pronounce it Cel Sat I'm so sorry hon I'm horrible um and hi one busy mama <laughs> I'm the worst at pronouncing names Okay, so I'm going to do my other eye. Originally, I was planning on doing my brows off, you know, beforehand, but I was already taking forever setting up. So I just figured, why not? Like, why not just do the cleaning process? And you might randomly hear noises and stuff like that. My kids are here, so. Julie Leah. I know, I just picked it up the other day. Stacy, okay. Stacy, I'm like, I remember it was on your Twitter handle. I believe it's a, it has um, Stacy on it, but. I'm horrible even at remembering names. Like, it takes me a while. I have the worst, sometimes short-term memory. I had an accident a couple years ago and I literally busted half my head open. So my short-term memory is not the best. <laughs> that might be nice. Like. Stacy, Leah. Otherwise, I'm trying to make it fancy and make it sound more Italian. Like, that's what, how it triggers in my head. But, um, but, yeah, that's pretty much how I do my brows. Like, beforehand, what I did is I went in with the Benefit Brow Styler. Um, just to make, like, to do quick brows, I'll use this. I'll, you know, create the shape fill it in a little bit and brush out the strokes and then clean it up with um, the clean canvas or concealer. And um, then I'll go in with the 24 hour brow setter or the gimme brow. 
but um what is it called i'm sorry but i normally do that at the very end because i don't want any powders or anything like that to fall on the brows and now with this brush i'm going to take more of the fair shade i'm going to do the fair shade and i'm going to apply it on the rest of my lid so that i could do my eyeshadow So what are you ladies doing today? I'm like I'm tempted to go back to Marshalls because we have um we have a, a mall. It's like it's an outlet mall, so it has everything and it's already like super, super discounted. And I haven't been there in so long. This quarantine like stopped everything. Oh my goodness. Are you, um, did you buy a, a new house? Moving is fun, but very stressful and very physically demanding. Oh, yay. I'll definitely check it out, Red, um, red Hot and Flashy. What kind of video are you filming? So I didn't apply that that much and oh, my eyes crease, not, not crease, sorry. Like right here at the very bottom, like I have more puffy sagginess down here, but you can easily see that a lot of the blue veining that I had was canceled out. So that's great. Oh, I wish I had a pumpkin patch closer. Like, I live in a more metropolitan city, so our pumpkin patches are like 30, 40 minutes away. Oh my gosh, Sylvia. I had I had to start laundry before I went live, which is part of the reason why I was late. I'm like, there's no clean towels, and my husband's going to work, so he needs to take a shower before he goes to work. Well, he starts work. He works from home, so... See, I think it might depend on which storage because I have some Ross and Marshalls near me, like closer to where I live, and they never have nothing good stocked. But then if I go to what is considered the nicer neighborhood or like the outlet mall, they always have the best stuff. All right. So I had gotten this in my BoxyCharm base box. So, and I really, really liked it. Like I, I'll be having my blog post up later on this evening. So you'll be able to see all the swatches there. But these colors were so nice. Like the, the shimmers were super, super buttery. The mattes weren't like buttery, but they weren't too drying and they still swatch really nice and they were super pigmented. Like I had to really scrub them off my arm. Like I actually even, if you look right here, I ended up scratching myself. I was scrubbing so hard. So I'm going to use this palette. Mm -mm. Let's try this. It's really hot already where I live. Luckily in my condo, most people, me and my neighbor, we already kind of like made an unofficial arrangement. So I typically get mornings, she gets evenings. <laughs> But so I could start anytime in the morning. Usually if I'm done by three, she's cool. 
So to start off, because I do want to set it, because, you know, I do have more hooded and stuff like that eyes, so I'm going to take this shade right there. This is sandstone. Like, just the inner corner always tends to crease up on me, no matter what I do. And it's the right eye that's the worst. Oops, I almost dipped on the wrong color. I'm... Oh shoot, I did I slightly dip. I accidentally lightly dipped my brush into this one right here. I could just imagine how beautiful it is in the East Coast in fall. Like all the leaves and the scenery. Hi Terry, thank you so much for joining us. like in my area I mean it it's nice but it's not as nice as other areas like when I go north to where my mom lives more in the country um like they they have a lot of scenery a lot of greenery so you get more of the fall vibes all right So I just tapped it in to set my crease area. Again, I just, my crease is so hooded and stuff. It just, no matter what I do, it's going to crease right there. Hey, Regina, thank you for joining me. You know what's so funny? Mark said that you would love this palette too. Like, you guys, just so you know, Regina is my mother-in-law. But um, her favorite colors are purples. So, and now thinking about purples, I feel like I've been doing a lot of like red and um, mauvey looks lately. So I think I am going to go into this side of the pad palette and use some of the purples. Um, And I'm going to start off using Whisper. Is this like cucumber? Not cucumber. Eggplant kind of shade. I'm going to put this box down here before I drop it. See, I'm always dropping something. Mm -mm. So I'm going to go into this Morphe brush that has no number, but it's like a giant pencil brush. And again, I'm going into this shade right there. Terry, that's what my, my mom called me and said that this week, she checked our weather because she was tempted on coming. But she's like, this week, you're going to be in the 90s in the Bay Area. So she's like, I'll skip. You don't have air conditioning. So, hi, Hillary. Thank you so much for joining. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. There's so many. This makes it for a much more interesting giveaway. Oh, if I forgot to mention, um, for all those that are joining us, everyone that comes into the live today will be entered to my little thank you giveaway for joining me. Um, So um, in a little bit, I will show you guys what I have in store for you. And one item is going to be a choice item. Hmm. Regina, be careful. So I'm just currently like, packing it into the 
outer area of my crease. And once I'm done shaping it to how I want, I'm gonna go back with a Wild River and begin buffing it out. I don't honestly know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do something purple. Yes, Terry, there is a giveaway. So that was kind of like, I sort of teased it as an announcement that I'm gonna do a giveaway for YouTube, but the announcement actually is, I'm gonna be doing a surprise giveaway for anyone that joins my live today. Um, it's just as a thank you. And also, so anyone that watches going forward, every other month I will begin doing thank yous, thank you gifts for one subscriber. Um, basically, I'm gonna be going through all my you know, videos, let's say for two months running and um, I'm going to see, you know, who was, so it's kind of like discretionary, but those who are the most supportive, um, every other month I will be gifting them, you know, an eyeshadow palette, a skincare item, you know, something to my discretion, just like a little gesture as a thank you. And they're going to be open internationally as well, you know. I mean, if someone's taking the time out of their day to come and watch my videos, watch my lives, I, I wanna try to do a little something um, as an appreciation, basically. Cause you know, there's, shoot, how many are there? As, uh, I can't talk now. How many, you know, YouTubers are there? There's, there's millions and millions of YouTubers. There's probably millions of beauty channels alone so you know i thought that would be like a nice little thank you and hopefully this way in a way um those that do truly support me and do watch my videos um eventually at one point we'll have we'll win something basically or we'll get a gift from me at some point So that's what I'm starting. Like I was actually going to start doing the first gift in October. So I just figured this was the perfect time to do that. Because if you're here, you're one of my more loyal supporters. I mean, I know some can't make it because, you know, some DM'd me telling me that they're at work or whatnot. You know, so I understand that. But they'll have chances for the future. This is just the kickoff. Okay, I think I've I've packed in enough purple um, at this point. Hmm. I used a new brush cleaner and I don't think I like it. A few of my brushes are all weird. Like it didn't clean out well. Like this one, look at how the bristles are. They're like rough and I know they're not like this normally. <clears throat> Yeah, right? It's it's just like a nice little thank you to do a little giveaway. And um, so that's what's my plan. <clears throat> like I was going to start doing something like that on Instagram, doing it monthly. But I figured I'm already doing monthly, if not two a month giveaways on Instagram. That's a little bit excessive and it gets even more expensive. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. Last Sunday, <clears throat> sport, men in sports. <sighs> so, um, as I mentioned, I'm going to go into this right here. It's wild river. So there is a, a little bit of kickback quite a bit actually, but it's not too bad. It's not, um, at least it's not falling on my face, but I forgot to mention that at first. So now I'm just taking that lighter, like lilac purple and just beginning to buff it out. And I'm not a makeup artist, you guys. So, you know, my technique might not be the right way, I guess you could say, to do it. Um, 
but this is so far what works for me and you know my comfort level like <clears throat> just in case you guys don't know i only started you know doing well i only started putting on makeup really like right be right before i started youtube so i don't have very much experience with makeup in general in fact you know the one thing you got to think facebook for is um keeping your memories and popping them up when you least want them and yesterday i had a picture from like two years ago pop up 2018 yeah two 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 years ago and i thought i looked all cute and i had like some super bright pink blush red ass lipstick <laughs> and um just mascara and a and like um a white with pink dress and i thought i looked super cute now looking at it i'm like oh my god what was i thinking like i'm so glad i've learned but um i'm gonna actually make a video like a get to know me video video where I hopefully I don't start crying, but um, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys some of my pictures because I even had one of my blogger friends when I mentioned to her how um, I used to weigh 350 pounds at one point in my life, and now I'm at a certain size, and I'm still kind of big. I mean, I've gained 15 pounds since quarantine started, so that's kind of depressing, but she was surprised. Like, she couldn't believe it. See, I wish even I would have, uh, Terry, I wish I would have uh, um, at least started a little bit sooner, like 2015. I think that's a good time. Yeah, Hillary, like I cringe sometimes. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, most of you gals are all um, have channels as well. And I think you guys would all love to um, check each other out if you guys haven't done so as of yet so make sure you do making some beauty channel co uh, connections i don't want that much i think i'm too purple i'm gonna start looking like a teletubby here soon who here watched teletubbies as a kid or rainbow bright And I'm trying to leave this part kind of empty because I want to use some of the shimmers on the inner portion. So I hope it works out. I'm trying to buff the inside a little bit because it was a little blotchy. Like, don't you wish YouTube allowed us to actually put make um, music in lives? That would be nice, but we'd get blocked. <laughs> Sarah, yeah, like, I wish I would have started a little bit younger, but my mom never really put makeup. She was also lipstick. She always had the red lipstick lightly blushed and mascara that's all she did like i have to kind of force her to let me do her makeup sometimes and she won't let me film her i've tried asking <laughs> i think most of us have watched Sally tubbies yes everyone support each other Like, I know most of you lovely ladies support me, so I know you guys would support each other as well. 
like we have we all have a little love a little extra love to give to one another because I know right now like for me I try to show love to all my friends sometimes I fall a little behind you know we all have lives our kids all of us I think for the most part we all have kids in school <laughs> and this distance learning it's a b word you know see my jam was rainbow bright I remember I had the tube socks and I used to have all the little things that go went along with rainbow bright along with new kids on the block those were my things. Okay, I'm going to obsess with that for a long time if I if I don't stop. So mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hmm. So here are the three shimmers. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy right here, the middle finger, that's surreal, and I'm going to, basically I'm going to grade, like, you know, I'm going to start with the darker, lighter, and lighter. Like, I'm going to start radiate them in so it kind of makes it, hopefully, like, blown out, you know? Maybe it'll work, hopefully. <laughs> I was, like, 80s, 90s. You know, like, so I was the in-between baby. I was right in the middle. Well, I can use my fingers, duh. So I'm going to use my finger, since I can't find the brush I want, and use Surreal. And I'm going to start off by popping it on the outer, like kind of like in the middle, but outer area without going all the way out to the V. Okay, you do that. That's so nice. Like as soon as I saw this palette, I was excited because I wanted it. Like these colors are awesome for fall and I think for spring. Like in Spanish, they say, you know, colores de primavera. You know, for shimmers, sometimes it's just better to use your finger, in my opinion. All right, I've cleaned it. I have my little magic eraser to wipe things off because I've learned my lesson. So now I'm going into the slightly lighter one and pop that in more on the inner portion, sort of. Ooh, I should have put lotion on my hands and this one I do need a brush oh, it is. and then this shade right here is called virgin virgin yep Lately, I've been liking to do certain things with my fingers better, like when it comes to my makeup. See, I'm the oldest, so I I was the guinea pig, but my sisters were always much better at makeup than me. So, trying to I'm trying to pack it on as best as possible. Might be better with setting spray. Okay. 
That's so pretty. See my daughter, I'm I'm I've been letting her practice and stuff like that. So um she's getting better at it. And the other day I did her makeup, but sadly Apple did an update and deleted all my footage from that day. So we have to refilm. And it was such a nice natural little look that we did for her. It's nice. Okay. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna use sandstone again to buff it out. Red hot. It was a bummer because the look came out so pretty and um, it looked really nice and natural. You know, it's it was an age appropriate makeup look. You know, at 13, I don't feel that she needs to get all done up and whatnot. Like, there's some very talented teenagers nowadays here on YouTube and Instagram and whatnot, but I don't want my daughter to be wearing a crap load of makeup. And what was cool is we actually had um, we had used the Smith & Cult Foundation because they had her shade available. And that just, it looks so beautiful. It looks so beautiful. So I'm going to go back to this brush. It's the Meg brush. It's the one that had the purple. And I'm going to go over here. And I didn't add no more product, by the way. Just want to make it darker. Because anyways, when I close my eyes, it's very hooded. So a lot of it goes, hides. It's like peekaboo with hooded eyes. You could do all pretty, all this pretty work, and it could all disappear in a blink. Bless you, buddy. Hi, Rasim. Um, well, I started giving my daughter lip gloss, and I only recently um, got her the foundation, but more of the purpose was to try to film a video, like a video tutorial, because I do see nowadays a lot of parents are allowing their kids to do makeup at very, very young ages. And I mean, to each their own. It's it's every parent's discretion what they want to do when it comes to makeup. This buddy? Okay, go sit down. Put that aside so I think for now my eyes are fine yeah I think they're fine so what I'm gonna do is move on to my base mm -mm. did I not bring my nope. sorry I need my spray. So I'm gonna go in with the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I am nearly out. So sad. 
This is like one of my favorite hydrating moisturizers. It's a moisturizer and a primer. And since I broke out so bad, kind of need it. And yeah, exactly. Like, I don't want her... Like, I'd rather teach her so she knows this, knows how to apply it and not make it look heavy. Like, I, we made it look natural, basically. Like, very even. Basically, just to even out her skin, uh, skin tone. Um, we didn't do no crazy brightening or nothing like that. No eyeshadows. Um, I literally just, um, we did the foundation. We did some light concealing on yeah just a little little like couple drops of concealer um gloss the gloss though she picked a pink and i'm like like a pinky red i'm like that's too much gloss i'm like i couldn't find the clear and what else do we do oh blush and i did do a light contour like on the back corner kind of area but it wasn't anything crazy that was noticeable because you could see more of the blush so and she was super happy. Like, she wore that most of the day. Dude, Good Molecules is awesome. Like, they're, um, I just got also their new rose, what is it called? Rose water. It's their new gel cleanser. That is really, really good. Like, I've been using that. I like their toner. Oh my gosh, their squalene oil. I've gone through three bottles and two bottles of the rose hip oil. All right, so I've done that. So I've primed, then I go in with this guy right here. This is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This basically helps be an extra layer of protection when it comes to like kind of like priming and it helps even fill in more of your pores. Dude, I don't know how, but I ended up getting a $25 off coupon from her. So it was crazy. And for the first time, I'm going to try my Hourglass uh, Vanish Stick Foundation. Yeah, exactly. Like, I wanted to do, um, I feel like a little hairs on my face. I wanted, we wanted to film like um, what we would consider an age appropriate makeup. Shit. I might have gotten a shade too dark. Um, this is shade nude. Ooh. <clears throat> so I'm going to attempt to use this and see how it goes, you guys. I have wanted this for so long. I bought it when Sephora had their sale running. Put her down. See, that's the thing about right now, we can't try out foundations or swatch them or nothing. So it makes it a little bit more difficult finding the right shades. 
squalene in fact that's part of the reason i'm probably breaking out more than normal because normally i would use squalene and rosehip oil in my routine and right now i don't have any so i'm going to take my nikki brush from hank and henry oh yeah this is way too dark Dang it. Well, I guess I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely too dark. Like even my neck, <clears throat> even my neck looks lighter. So no bueno. Well, luckily I picked it up at Sephora, so I'll be able to exchange it. I think I just picked it up not too long ago. Oh, you guys, by the way, I just got some uh, sneak peek intel for um, October's BoxyCharm and what's going to be in pop-up. So I'm going to actually be filming that. Well, I'm going to be filming that after this along with... Um, my advent calendar unboxing but in case for those that are here on the live because i highly doubt they'll look at this um they're gonna have the natasha denona foundation and concealer available for pop-up Which I'm pretty stoked because I've wanted to try them. Wow, that's awesome. You wore it for 12 hours. This is the first time I'm actually using it. I only swatched it yesterday. So, so yeah, so I'll be posting my BoxyCharm premium slash luxe unboxing. They'll probably go up on Tuesday or Wednesday because I have to get the look fantastic up first. But I'm going to have some sneak peeks to, I'm going to have quite a few sneak peeks for October. Sylvia, what what did you pick up or what did you, uh, I can't talk. What did they send you that caused the peeling? Like, did your skin peel or was it that the, you know, you were layering products and then it peeled? Because I've had that happen in general. And sometimes it's that the products are just not compatible with each other. Um, Red Hot, um, I just got my box, so I did talk to BoxyCharm about that, and because even my own personal paid subscriptions came late, my PR, you know, had just arrived, and, um, so with the, what, what are they called, the, what is it, the hurricane or tornadoes that were in the south, that actually affected their warehouse, 
where um, all the dispatching goes. So um, because of that, they basically, you know, were delayed quite a bit on shipments. Like there was basically a few days that they couldn't really do much from the warehouse. So let's cross our fingers that no more natural disasters because so <laughs> my, my son's clapping his hands for no more natural disasters um, because I've literally had like almost every single one of my packages or boxes have some kind of delay. Mm -hmm. Like my Look Fantastic box should have arrived last week. It arrived yesterday. Everything arrived late. It does look so pretty. It's just, it's just a shade too dark. Like personally, I'm not sure about you guys, but personally, I rather have a slightly lighter. Oddly enough, it matches my arms. Like maybe I should keep it. I don't usually match my arms. Anyway, as I was saying, typically I prefer to have something closer to my skin tone or even lighter because it's easier for me to fix it that way. Like I can easily, you know, bronze my skin a little bit more or if needed, like um, mix like like sometimes I'll mix my Fenty um, hydrating foundation with the It's Cosmetics um, and it looks and it blends perfectly, you know. Have a good day, Queen of Hearts. No problem. Just so you know, you are still entered to my giveaway. So. I will most likely making be making the announcement in the next video. As soon as I'm done blending this out, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to give away. Because I know I've been on for a few minutes, for quite some time now. Mm. Sorry, I don't like foundation on my lips. Where is that box? So, I'm basically making shape, shape, making my own version of BoxyCharm for you guys. Exactly, Vanessa. Bronzer fixes everything. If you have the right shades of bronzer or contour, like if you can do a light contour and then bronze up, you're gonna fix it. So, for my giveaway the first item you're going to receive is going to be this coffee scrub from frank body um it's supposed to be a robust coffee buffs away dry skin coconut oil and grapeseed oil the next item oh, i don't i don't want to i don't want to taint this because it's so beautiful you're going to have your very own Hank and Henry Love Lipstick, which um, I did use it and um, I've posted pictures of this beautiful shade. It's so beautiful. Um, so you'll have your very own. I did, you know, I do have the entire collections behind me. So um, I'm going to be gifting it to one of you. And... Mm -hmm. Sit down, please. My kids are being sneaky, asking me if I could order pizza. Now, there will be a fifth item, but I'm going to make it a mystery item because it's going to be a skincare item. So I wanted to, you know, whomever wins, I'm going to cater it to them. So technically speaking, the fourth item, the winner will be allowed to pick one of these two palettes. So I did happen to get a second hip dot palette, you guys. So this will be one of the choices. And the um, 
Zueva Germany palette is called. So anyways, so you, whomever's the winner will be able to choose one of these two palettes as part of your giveaway. So not both, but you'll be able to pick one and then you'll have a mystery skincare item that I'm going to cater towards your skin type. Um, I didn't want to throw something that let's say was hydrating and the winner turns out to be, you know, oily skin, you know, um, or might be allergic, you know, so I wanted to ask the person beforehand. And also with the eyeshadow palettes, luckily I have a vibrant color, which I'm using today. And this is um, a more um, cool tone palette, lighter shades. So for someone that likes more natural eyeshadow. Hi, Jocelyn. Thank you for joining us. Honestly, my son could call it a lot of the times, like when he's craving something, we all end up going, ooh, that does sound great, doesn't it? Like, oh, I dropped it. Like the other night, um, I said, oh, I'm making your favorite. He's like, Milo! He has good taste. Yes, so I'm gonna be adding a skincare item. Thank you, buddy. Damn. Now, so makeup is a lot of fun, and you know, it's all trial and error when we're first learning, which is perfectly fine. But dang it, this foundation looks so beautiful. Is it just me or like as I'm sitting here, it feels like it's changing more towards what my skin is normally. This might end up working out. We'll see at the end of the day. So I have been wanting to try this since I got it the other day. So I'm going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury um, Magic Away Liquid Concealer. And I got shade three fair. Like the way that Charlotte does their um their numbers is a little weird. Hola Jocelyn, ¿cómo estás? Gracias por um venir al en vivo. Vanessa, if you do happen to be the lucky winner, trust me, the lipstick is gorgeous. They're pigmented. Even if, let's say, they transfer a little bit, because they will, because it's a, it's a cream, you know, it's a satin lipstick. It's a satin matte. The base of it sticks on all day. Like, I literally used mine last week from, like, 12 o'clock. And I still had the red. And my th husband thought it was fresh lipstick that just began to wear off. But it was like a full nine hour day and it was still on my face, you know, on my lips. Even um, when I was doing swatches, I tried to clean off a little, you know, I did a horrible swatch and I tried to wipe it off. The stain was still there. Like they're that pigmented and potent. Okay, I'm not strong. Here we go. So this is the first time I'm using it. Let's hope this works. I hear so many great things about this concealer. Come on. Come on, Charlotte. You're embarrassing yourself. It's not coming up. Okay, Kate, you go have some good lunch. Trust me, my kids are probably thinking right now, hurry up, mother. We're hungry, too. Come on. Dang, how much do I have to, oh, I can see it's filling up the chamber right there, but I don't want to, Annie, can you tell Cyrus to lower that down, Annie, Yes, Mom. tell Cyrus to lower the TV, 
tell him to lower the TV. Do you not hear his? Okay, it's finally coming. I had to push it a little bit. Do you not hear it? Okay. All right, it's coming out finally. It took a lot, so it's filling up there. I hope this one works. Oh, I guess a little bit more. I'm, I'm just afraid like to go too far like one time with um, the Ellie girl concealer I went too far and it just it squirted everywhere Dang, this is a lot of twisting. Oh, okay. It's spewing out now Please tell him to lower the YouTube thing. Okay. Thank you. My son likes watching those funny videos. And he's upstairs and I can still hear it down here. Okay. That might have been too much, but it's okay. So I'm going to take this little kabuki brush from, what is it, Larsu. We got it in Ipsy a couple months ago. See, I need to pick up the Maybelline Age Rewind. I've heard also that that one's really, really good. See, I think with the... Um, That'd be actually a good comparison. Doing um, one eye with the Charlotte Tilbury. Huh. Thanks for the idea. Doing the Charlotte Tilbury on one side and then um, doing the Age Rewind on the other. I mean, visibly, they look very similar. Similar tip. Not bad. It feels so lightweight though. It's crazy how lightweight it feels. Oh, thank you, hon. I appreciate that. I know I'm like super, super close right now. I'm like, I'm hoping to get there eventually. Dude, my under eye looks incredible with this, though. I mean, I still need a little bit more for the inner corner, maybe. I forgot I had the brightener, dang it. But look at that. I'm very impressed with Miss Charlotte. Like the things I love, love, love trying out is new foundations and new concealers. I mean, they might not be new to the market, but at least they're new to me. Like I just saw um, Honest Beauty, um, I guess released a CCC cream but it only has four shades, so kind of, hmm. And then um, Ordinary just launched their um, their serum foundation, I guess, I think it's a serum foundation in the States because it was only available overseas for a long time.
see the the concealer feels very natural somewhat dewy but it feels more natural it's not so shiny like like look at that and then this is the eye that tends to crease the most on me and it looks really really nice and it's been a few minutes and I'm still not creasing. And this one is the one I have a little bit more um, darkness on my under eyes. And um, I mean, it's not bad when it comes to like, you know, the dark spot, but you could probably lighten it up. I think I'm just going to leave it there when it comes to, um, well, actually there's some residue, cover up this ugly pimple. My son's now playing video games or something. Okay, put this here. Don't want to lose it. I took a little bit excess and with the brush, I'm just going to pat it in to this little area. Um, Ross, 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 oh my God, I'm butchering your name. I'm so sorry, hon. But, um, I'm pretty sure that that's true, especially if you have a lot of, um, people on your channel that join your lives, you could definitely make your hours like really, really fast that way. But for me, I was very scared going live, which is why I didn't for so long. So next. Ooh, I forgot. So I got this deluxe little sample of the Hourglass Foundation, but they let me pick the shade. So I picked the Almond, Golden Almond, and I figured I could try this out for contour. You're not going live anymore? I know I thought I had clicked on a video that you were still live and by the time I went to the video, you were gone. Like it was, it just kept on saying it was live yet it was like an hour sooner, earlier. So I'm lining it up to like where my, the top of my, my ear area is to do my little line. Like I hate when it happens. That's awesome. This is gonna last me for some time since it's so, ooh, I almost like did everything except for this side.
Okay. That might have been too much. And then I'm going to take the same sponge and start buffing out. It'd be funny if this turned out to be like a failed video at the end. Hey, Christina, thank you so much for joining. How are you doing? Could have blended up to the hairline. I'll be done in 30 minutes, buddy. No, it's just a minute to the Okay. There's a charger. I think I left it in the bathroom. Bless you, buddy. That was Annie. Mm hmm Have a good day, Terry. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Oh. Christina, I hate my hairline. Well, I just wish I had a little bit bigger forehead because my forehead's short. I think that's more than enough at this point. I'm just going to put I'm going to put a little bit of magic star on I do that basically for a little reverse contouring and brightening, which sometimes helps me save a step so I don't have to, you know, I don't have to bake in that area. Thank you, Alma Beauty. Um, have a good day. I almost forgot my bottom lip. It would have looked like I have some leftover chocolate. It 
And if you're wondering, I do not do this on a regular basis because I know I've had sometimes randomly a person goes, oh, you're wearing too much makeup. And I'm like, I don't do this all the time. I do it for fun because it's distracting and it, you know, gets our mind off things. And it's the best way to learn and try new things. Okay. So I definitely have to set that concealer because it's starting to crease on me. <clears throat> okay. So this is the Laura Mercier's, the travel size one that we got in Allure like over a year ago. And it took me some time to get to it. Ugh. And some lip balm, because. I don't like how the, you know, it starts drying out your skin. And this little Moda brush, I'm just lightly dipping it. Like. So I'm going to take my dirty sponge now <laughs> and I poured some more product and I'm going to um, set the rest of my face and I just try to set it lightly so I po pound off the excess. I got it at Marshalls. Oh man, Sylvia, you should see like... I don't understand how some people could be so mean and comment on someone else's like makeup or you know or their technique and it's like okay well makeup is your own form of self-expression you know what I mean bye Vanessa thank you so much for being with us for so long you have a good day what? What? nothing buddy but anyways, but yeah, so people, I even had someone recently comment on my nails and said, girl, go get a fill. And I'm like, I would if I could. So... See you in the next one. 
But yeah, like, I, I don't understand. Like, I, I see um, Facebook. I typically like to watch Facebook Live. And um, I see so many people be mean there. And on Instagram, I feel like they're the worst. And sometimes I wonder, like, you realize you're following that person for a reason. So why are you critiquing them so harsh? You know? Okay, that's more than enough. And then with my powder brush. Going down my neck. Ooh, I just thought about it. Ooh, I'm gonna get fingerprints all over it. I'm gonna use my ambient palette. So pretty. That is so rude. Like, didn't their parents teach them, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. That is just so mean. What happened? We're talking about how people are mean sometimes. I know. I thought you were coming back. What was it about a week ago when you mentioned it? So I'm going to go in with the bronzer shade first, you guys. And yeah, I'm going to use this brush right here. It's the Morphe E4. And I'm just trying to go in very light handed. I brought in more light. And I'm going again, I'm trying to go in light handed. I'm not trying to go in heavy. I almost forgot to mention also, I am going to start finally, I, I'm starting to, so I'm going to begin posting like, um, links to products that I use or that I'm wearing for my makeup looks and things like that, because I do have a lot of like different links, um, their affiliate links. So if you guys are interested in purchasing them, you know, it has easier access. Um, I'm part of reward style. So, um, you know, sometimes I'll post uh, pictures of the products that I have or I recommend it and things like that. Um, or I get the links from there. Like right now, Fenty, and I've been enjoying it. Fenty just launched the their whole cleansing set in a, tr in a tr holiday travel set and it's $40. So I actually was um, going to post that link later on today because the moisturizer and sunscreen is really, really nice. And so is the toner. Like those are my two favorite items. Like the cleanser's nice. It's a nice jelly cleanser, but not my favorite. But it's it's not overpriced, so that's a good thing. Once you darken the tip.
Christina, I think you should make like a cute little reel since, you know, you're just getting back to Instagram. And right now that's what is, I guess, the popular thing to do. Shoot, those are getting better engagement than, um, than anything else I've noticed. Like my Hank and Henry swatch reel did better than any of my other posts in any of my tutorials. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. So I'm going to go into their blush and go into this one. I used this actually the other day for the same blush. Regina, the foundation is so pretty. Like, I really like it. Like, it's a little bit darker than I normally go for. But I might end up keeping it. Even though we are going into winter. I typically always put blush, like, at the tip or bridge of my nose. And then on my forehead. Just for a more flush tone. Ooh, shit. It went too dark. Okay, so with this one, no product. I'm just buffing it out because I want it a little bit too hard. Okay, now I'm going to use the finishing powders. These are so pretty. So I'm going to mix these two finishing powders. These were so pretty. Like they make your skin look like glass. I know, like, Red Hot. Okay, I'm tired of calling you Red Hot. What's your real name, Red Hot? Hopefully I can, rem like, actually remember. Like, I feel weird. Keep Like, sometimes I feel weird calling you guys by your handle name and, or channel name instead of your real name. But in general, like, it looks nice on camera, so I'm going to see how it looks in natural daylight. Eileen or Eileen or Eileen is it Eileen or Eileen like this oh this is so pretty like there's I haven't even put no highlighter or nothing And I just realized I never even set, I never even, um, I didn't do my under eyes. Eileen, thank you so much. That's a lot helpful. Thank you. So, Eileen. You know what I just realized? I forgot to show one other item part of the giveaway. And it's right next to me. Duh. I'm also giving to the winner the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day in Mint Chocolate Chip. This was a collaboration with Rich Lux here on YouTube. So you'll also be winning one of these. And it's a brand new one, by the way. It's a brand new one. Um, it comes with a separate cap and everything. So back to this guy. So for my under eyes, 
I want something to pop as a contrast. So, Naro. So I think, I think, I'm gonna go into Naro, this one right here. And I'm gonna use this little kind of pencil brush. It says, write your story. So, deep. Oh my gosh, I, I'm always torn between mint chocolate chip and, um, the the dreamsicle Ooh, that might have been too much Looks cool. No problem. Thank you so much, um, Binti, for joining us. I appreciate you being here and being here for quite some time as well. You have a beautiful Saturday. Reels is similar to TikTok. Except that um, you only get 15 seconds. Oh, this is a clean brush, by the way. You only get 15 seconds, which that sucks. And that's why I'm having like a hard time. Like it's hard enough to edit videos to under a minute. Now they want 15 seconds. Um, Christina, you follow Woodsy, right? She's the vegan cruelty free on IG. She, um, she's freaking awesome at reels and she actually posted a tutorial showing, um, how to do it. Oh, how nice. So I want to use Angel's Landing on my lower lash line also. So I need to find a pencil brush to do the job. So I'm going to spray this little Luxie brush just so it hopefully doesn't fall out under my face. And I'm going to go into Angel's Landing. It's this guy right here. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I got some in my contact. Hey, Southern Belle. Oh yeah, we're doing a whole makeup look. That's why I'm still live. I think if it would have been an unboxing, we would have been in and out in a few minutes. Those even with chit chat um, were kind of quick.
That's so nice. Um, I feel like I'm in her corner. Yeah, where is it? Here's my mint chocolate chip from Gerard's. Spritz. They smell so good. So I'm going in again with Virgin to do the inner corner. Dude, that, this shade wet looks so cool. Just buffing it out a bit. I didn't add no product, nothing like that. Whoa, that looks so cool. Um, we're almost done, peoples. We're almost done, I promise. I need my lipstick, which ever since I got it, I've been wanting to use this. So I think I'm going to go with the nude. This is from Wee Wee. It's the one I got in the box by Fashionsta. Hey, Miss Jody, Thank you so much for joining. Oh my God, Miss Shorty. I'm sorry I missed you guys. I'm the hostess with the slowness. Makeup. Oh, well, thank you so much, Miss Shorty, for joining me. I appreciate it. this is your first live stream with us. I don't do them often, but I am trying to do them weekly or at least bi-weekly. Like, let's say bi-weekly, I'll do these because, you know, life happens. But actually, just so you guys know, next Saturday, I will most likely be going live since my kids are going to my in-laws. So I'll have a quiet house and I don't have to worry too much. And again, ladies, um, majority of you guys do have, um, you know, YouTube and stuff like that um, or other social media. So... Uh, make sure you guys connect and support one another. So I'm going to go in with this lip pencil in shade six. I'm sorry, shade nine. I can't pronounce the word.
And I typically like to fill in my lips anyways. nice and now with the same lipstick this is so cool it's hard to see but they have like the the brand's name we written all over it and it's very creamy And it smells like chocolate, you guys. So, because... Mmm, shit. See, I always do something to mess it up. This is the Hank and Henry Your Mom lip gloss. This has like a pearl, a pink pearl, like a pink and white pearl. So it helps. Oh yeah, Sarah, like, I don't, I don't think people realize how much work it takes to do these videos. Like it could take two to three hours to film at times, you know, and then we had tried our best to edit it down to 15, 20, 25 minutes and it, it's hard. So I'm scraping it out and putting it on the back of my hand. This way I'm not messing up my, um, my cl more clear tint. I'd rather not do that. I love Henry's packaging. So whomever wins my giveaway is gonna be so lucky because the lipstick comes in this beautiful casement, has this neat little owl, push it, voila, lipstick. This is the ghetto. This is, I like you. Aww. And I'm just going to grab some and start dabbing it on. Gotta wipe my hand, otherwise it's gonna end up everywhere. So I do need some liner mascara. Mm. Oh shoot. Should I do black, purple, or more of a lavender eyeliner?
purple purple so i have the urban decay god what is it goddess voodoo i have voodoo actually voodoo might be better this has more of a shimmer it's been so long since i've used these two my eyes okay my little remember I said I had a lot of mascaras they're all in here <laughs> I have too many open so I really like both Kosas and Tristique Did I just pull on my lashes? I did. Dang it. <sighs> I think I'm gonna use the, this one. I have like five minutes. So this is the mystery mascara that BoxyCharm sent out to people that's registered through um, Instagram. And I was lucky enough to catch that email. Ooh. It has like castor oil and stuff like that. So it's supposed to help condition your lashes and help them grow. Oh man, this is so worth it. Like, you know, it's a nice mascara and it's, you know, it's going to be beneficial. It's basically feeding your mask, your lashes too. And it was only 12 bucks when it retails for 25 at Sephora. When I've tried to apply some on my lower lash line. Oh, those that are late, I'm going to be doing BoxyCharm spoilers for October on my, um, BoxyCharm Luxe and Premium Unboxing. The video I'm gonna do that, um, the unboxing portion, I'm gonna do it just kind of quick kind of deal. You know, cause at this point, everyone's got their boxes. But I'm gonna put more emphasis on like some of the sneak peeks that I've received. Which one being that they're gonna have the Natasha Denona Foundation and concealer available during add-ons for purchase.
And don't forget, if you're not subscribed to BoxyCharm, I do have an affiliate link as well. I'm done with that. Light, light. I almost forgot I do need a little bit of highlight on my brow bow. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I'll, I'll see if I do anything else. Cosas. Actually, what's funny, they send me a couple packages in the past and um, approved me for their affiliate program too. So I do have an affiliate link with them, but I haven't received anything recently. Oh, shit. That would have been way too big. All right. So I'm going to take this. This is the Hank and Henry Luster Veils, and I'm using Nightlight. These are super good. Like, they give you, like, a wet look. Oh, and for all subscription box lovers or those who love brushes, Henry, um, Henry, Hank and Henry Beauty is now starting a brush subscription so it's going to be a mixture of hank and henry brushes and um and his school the makeup institute and for 25 dollars you get 68 full-size brushes plus you get um well, I'm already forgetting. Plus one bonus item. Like this month, it's going to be the Hank and Henry sponge for the bonus item. So I will be um, doing that unboxing once it arrives. Now I look like a landing strip. Buff it up. Just a little bit at the top of my cheekbones. I know I didn't need it. I just, it's a habit, I think, at this point. Okay. Oh, I haven't even set my face, you guys. Like, I've done everything and I haven't even set my face. How is that? So, I'm going to be using, a, I'm going to be using the, what is this again? I'm already forgetting. It's been a long day. Um, Charlotte Tilbury's Air Brush Flawless Setting Spray. This stuff is the bee's knees. This helps your makeup stay for up to 16 hours. And it has a nice fragrance. I mean, everyone knows Charlotte puts fragrance on almost everything.
<laughs> and I mean, I think I'm pretty much done. I might, for picture purposes, put lashes on later. But I think for the makeup, we are done, you guys. I think it came out really pretty. It definitely, I mean, minus the eyes. My eyes are very purple, very purple. But I think they look really, really pretty. And the foundation did a great job covering up my acne. It feels very, very lightweight. So I'm going to contemplate it throughout the day and see if I'm going to exchange it for a different shade, maybe a little bit lighter or keep this one because we are going into winter and I would be afraid that I wouldn't be able to use it again until next summer when I get darker, you know, so. And the lipsticks are really, really nice also. And of course, the Hourglass palette is gorgeous. So again, thank you guys so much. Um, thank you all again so much for joining me today. Let me, oh, I'm so out of shape. As a final reminder, one lucky winner will be entered. Well, I'm sorry, not entered. One lucky winner will win this box full of goodies. And there's still going to be one mystery item, which is a skincare item that I'm going to cater to whomever's the winner. So the giveaway includes the body scrub from Frank Bod, the Hank and Henry Love Lipstick. If you want to see how it looks, it's a beautiful um, red with that blue undertone. I did post a picture on my Instagram if you want to check it out. You will win also your very own... Um, Slay all day in mint chocolate chip, and this is the full size. And lastly, whomever wins, whomever wins will be able to choose between your very own hip dot palette, which is what I used today for the look, or you'll be able to choose the um, Zueva. Uh, Oh, it's called the offline palette. Why did I say Germany? So you'll be able to pick one of these two palettes. You know, if you like more vibrant colors, you could get this one. If you like more neutral, cool tones, you could pick this one. So I'll leave this to your guys' discretion. So again, for all those who were here today, um, throughout the live, you guys are all officially entered into this exclusive giveaway. And going forward, I will be doing a bi-monthly thank you gift to one lucky subscriber. So at the end of every other month, I will be any, I will be um, basically announcing the, not, not the winner, but I'll be announcing every other month, basically the, what I consider the one that supported me the most in those two months and they will win something from me. It could be as simple as an eyeshadow palette, um, makeup. If you guys can hear all that rumbling, it's because my daughter's being rude and just like crumbling Sorry. papers on next to me for some reason. So yeah, so going forward every other month, I will be announcing a winner that will win a special gift from me. And it's a discretionary item, but is as a thank you for your loyal support and continued support basically. So. Hopefully my goal is that one day everyone that truly supports me will be able to win something from me or get a gift from me basically. So again, thank you all so much. Again, uh, make sure you guys are all supporting each other and I hope you guys have a beautiful day today. It's gorgeous in California. So maybe we can leave this house um, even for a walk. I know, right, Christina? She stole my thunder. But, um, so again, thank you. You guys have a beautiful day and take care. And goodbye. Oh, and you must be subscribed if 
I mean, most of you guys were subscribed, so you must be subscribed to to win too. So yeah, <laughs> thank you. Bye. Mm -mm. How do I turn this shit off? Huh? Try to turn this off.